we're out over here. Look right there. We got a big boy cruiser. I see him. I'm gonna try and push him against the fence. All right. In and out. Gotcha, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Feisty little dragon. Wow. Oh, wow. Gotcha, buddy. Another uh, nice male right here. He's fired down. Nice specimen. Good eater right here. We're, we're harvesting these things for food. A lot of people out there, you know, people, just different people. Some people kill them and throw them away. Okay, whatever, some people, whatever. We like to catch them and eat them. So that's what this guy's going for right here. In the More bag. meat you catch in the wild, less meat you have to buy in the groceries. Give this video a like if you agree with that message. Resilience, motivation, strength. That's what these iguanas are. We just took out the female that was digging this hole. We covered it with dirt and then look what happened. They dug it again. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. The iguanas laugh. We'll be back out here monitoring this area. You see that ninja? Yeah, I see it. That's crazy. They're really trying to get under that concrete. Not even trying to get under the regular dirt, really trying to get out of That's crazy. Started right there. People don't understand the resilience of iguanas and the will for them to survive. They're, they're fully capable of it. And it's not their fault or our fault. Our fault. Well, it's technically humans' fault. But they are here. Yes, they are. So, that's one of the reasons why you don't want to have iguanas in your state. They can dig under your road. Do you have an iguana problem? Call the Iguana Man. Free estimates. Dragons. What kind of bait are we gonna try to use? Stay tuned to find out. And Ninja looks like he's getting his iguana snare all set up. Oh yeah, gotta have that handy dandy catch pole 3000 always on hand. Nice. So Ninja, personal question to ask you. Nope. If you had one tool right. that you can only use Air rifle or a catch pole? I know it's tough, but which, <laughs> which one do you think you'd go for? Honestly, to make it easier, because uh, I'm gonna just give you guys both. Honestly, the true answer to that is the catch pole because I don't need to fill it back up with air. I don't need any pellets, like any other things to make this mechanism work. All I need is some string and some, you know, and we're good, but with an air rifle, uh, I would have to bring a tank, a lot of pellets. I have to make sure my pellets don't get wet because it's metal. You know what happens to metal when it, you know, I can't put that in the air rifle. So when in doubt, catch pole 3000 is the way to go, honestly. Another yeah. good thing with the catch pole too is once you get it around them, there's no escape. There's no escape. Air no rifle, escape. we could shoot him. He could be dead. He has 20 seconds left of life. It runs in the water. It's over. He gone. He gone. at him he's hiding in there yep. and then we got this other one right here he's like oh, kind of sitting like a cat it's kind of yeah. might be a sheila it's hot right now so yeah let's let's clean up let's clean up ninja that's a female dude yeah that, that one is too oh my god that one was bigger that's a big female dude you want to try to grab him? Right. 
You're in your element, dude. Do what you were destined to do. Nice. Got him. Oh, man. What? Oh, wow. This one's been uh, harassed before. It's been harassed. Oh, there whoa. it is. There he goes. There it is. That's what we were looking for. The death world. Sheesh. He's done. The grab of a thousand owl. Whoa. Grab those back legs. Yeah, you said this one's been harassed. Yeah. I'm gonna let you explain it. You want to snare him and you could explain it? Yeah, too? I'm gonna unsnare him real quick now. All right, guys, so we're with the Iguana Ninja. You guys see it right here? He just landed this Iguana. He's gonna show us real quick. He, he says there's claims of harassment with this Iguana. We're gonna investigate. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, you guys are out here Iguana hunting. You guys are out here shooting Iguanas. If you guys shoot the Iguana, shoot its eye out. Now he's not dead. Now he's suffering. He's blind in one eye. His other eye works. Perfectly fine. Look, he even has a little blood coming out his nose. But look, his eye is completely gone. Sheesh. I don't, guys, this is terrible. Look at that. All right, there goes his eye right there. You guys see that right there? It looks like he is, does have an injury. Maybe a pellet is lodged in there and he, you know, suffering right now so it goes to show when you guys are going at hunt iguanas make sure you guys go for those criticals you know get in the head get in the thing i understand accidents do happen but do your best to humanely euthanize the iguana if not i mean it's not fair for him to live in the wild here like this nope no it's not it's not fair so we're gonna go ahead euthanize this guy Hell. okay the young uh, oh whoa. Sure. whoa easy see how he reacts guys yeah he's super aggressive aggressive because he only has one eye. He's gonna he's gonna do that little wiggle thing, try to get out of there. Just goes to show also how adaptable these animals are. He has one eye. He's not sitting here acting like, you know, to try to get pity or anything like that. He's out thriving, he's sunning, he's eating, he's got his life to live. And, and it, you know, some of these iguanas, they're just, it's inspiring that they can, you know, have these damages and still live through it, you know? Dragon. Wow, okay. Now we do gotta follow the rules and put them in the bag. Yep. But not to worry, because uh, we're going to invite him to dinner, right, Ninja? Yeah. All right, buddy, let's go. We're having curry. Watch your step on that. That's... Big, fat, super fat red female right there. As y'all know, right now is the female's time. The males have done their business. They're kind of back in the shadows. The females are out breeding, pregnant, ready to lay those eggs. So we got two of them. Good job, Ninja. Oh yeah. Area seems to be secure. Oh, yep. Let's pack these boys up. Put them in the bag. Put them in the bag. Ready, Ninja? Ready. Let's get it. Ow! Sure you are, mate.
wasted. Go for that orange. Yeah, go for any of those females. Got dirt on her nose, bro. She's looking for something. Trying to dig. She got a parasite right there. Sheesh. Silly, silly iguana. Ninja is a true magician with this catch pole, y'all. And that goes to answer our question, which one would you prefer? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> catch pole 3000, y'all. Sheesh. That's another gut-loaded female full oh, of yeah. eggs. That is incredible, She's dude. She's just about to get away. About to. About to. She almost, almost got away, but almost don't count. Not at all. But no, as you guys can see, there's no shortage of these iguanas in these areas that we're at. So we're going to take out some of these females. Uh, there's a couple of different reasons why we want the females. One, the meat is soft. Uh, it's easy to clean. And two, they have eggs, which you guys know is uh, a delicacy for us iguana hunters. So oh, yeah. it's like a win-win ninja. Ninja, I guess that's gonna wrap it up over here, man. Oh yeah. What what do we get out of here so far today? Uh, We've got the one male with the messed up eye. Uh, I think I think four. Four total, huh? Wow, look at that. Three females and one male. That's perfect. That's great numbers right there. All three females loaded with eggs. Oh man. Dude, Ninja, thank you so much for helping the state of Florida, dude. No problem, man. That's a Floridian. My pleasure. You guys know that we, we do do tours as well. Ninja is actually doing tours as well. Um, and he's also on, uh, you're on social media as well, right, too, Ninja, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Facebook, Iguana Ninja. Okay. Ninja, sorry, Iguana underscore Ninja. Uh, Instagram, Ayo, is that CJ? Okay. And uh, of course, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, there is <laughs> the Ninja. Iguana Ninja. Check our boy Guana Ninja out. Y'all can hit him up if y'all want to go on a hunt and do some tours. You know, because I'd be busy, he'd be busy. Sometimes if I'm not available, sometimes Ninja is, vice versa as well. Yeah. Hit us up though, man. Like I said, we got four at the job, three females. Guana Ninja, thank you for your service, all right, bro? Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you.